Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Abhishek. Today's topic is mime. So guys, I would like to tell that I have already uploaded seven to eight videos in English. So you will get the link in the description of this cryptography playlist. I have already made lectures in Hindi, guys. Approximately sixty-three videos. So if you know Hindi, you can check that playlist. You will get everything about cryptography there. Now I am making the videos in English also, right? On the request of my subscribers. So let us start. What is mime? Mime basically, guys, stands for multi-purpose internet mail extension, right? Now, why was this Mime protocol required? First of all, let us understand that when we used to send email in the earlier days, guys, what used to happen was that if our data is in a specific format, that is, if our data is in NVT seven-bit ASCII format, then only we can send the data via email. But what if the data is not in this particular format? So that is the reason, guys. If we have some data which is not in this format, we were not able to send that data in the earlier days. But with the help of this particular protocol, that is Mime, if we use Mime along with the normal email protocol, like if we are uh, emailing using the SMTP protocol, and if we use Mime protocol along with it, okay, if we combine those two protocols and then we send the email, then guys, if we have the non-SCI data also, that is, if we have some data which is not in this particular format, then using this Mime protocol, we can also send this data. To the receiver, right? So that's why this protocol was introduced. So, guys, let us see some theoretical part, and then I'll explain this thing with the help of a diagram also. So, MIME is a standard which is was proposed by Bell Communications in 1991. Okay, and in order to expand the limited capabilities of email, and guys, I have already told you that email had some disadvantages. Like, email can only be sent if it is in this particular format. Okay, then in short, MIME is a supplementary protocol. We can say, or we can say, it is a add-on. Which allows non-SCI data to be sent through email. Okay, non-SCI data can be your audio file, image file, etc. Right. Now, let's see some theory also. It allows users to exchange different kinds of data files like your images, audios, videos, etc. Right. Now, MIME is an extension to the internet email protocol that is SMTP. We are using SMTP protocol plus this MIME protocol in order to send these uh, unique type of files. That is the files which are not in this particular format. Okay. That is the files which are In non-SCI format, so we can send these files also. Now, guys, email messages with MIME formatting are typically transmitted with the standard protocols. Like we can use this uh, MIME protocol with the help of with SMTP protocol also, which is called Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And we can also use this MIME protocol with POP, that is Post Office Protocol. And we can also use this MIME protocol with IMAP, that is Internet Message Access Protocol. And friends, it is not the case that we are just using this MIME protocol with these email protocols only, like SMTP with MIME. No, that is not the case at all. We are using this MIME protocol in uh, other fields also. Like for an example, I have written over here. Let me explain you. Although guys, MIME was designed mainly for SMTP, its contents type are also important in other communication protocols also. So here is the example. Let us assume guys that on the World Wide Web, we are using the HTTP protocol, right, for sending the data. So So guys, what the server will do is server will insert a MIME header. Okay, what is MIME header? We'll see it later on. So server will insert a MIME header file at the beginning of the web transmission. Okay, so there also MIME protocol is used. I have written this only in HD protocol for the World Wide Web. Servers insert a MIME header, right? They will insert a MIME header field at the beginning of any web transmission. So that's why MIME protocol is also used in other scenarios also. Okay, so we have seen the example. Now, guys, let us see why this MIME protocol was introduced or why do we need it? Okay, or we can also say that there were some limitations of SMTP protocol. That's why this protocol was introduced. So let us see. SMTP has a very simple structure. First of all, this thing you should know. Then. SMTP can only send the messages in this particular format, which is the NVT seven bit ASCII format. If we have the data in non ASCII format or which is not in this particular format, we cannot send that data. So that was a disadvantage of SMTP protocol. That's why MIME was introduced. Now it cannot be used for languages that do not support this format, that is seven bit ASCII format, such as if we have our data in French, German. So we could not send it, right? So in order to make SMTP more broader, we use this MIME protocol. Okay. So we have already seen that MIME can be combinedly used with SMTP, POP, or other protocols also, right? So it cannot be used to send binary files or audio data or the video data. Okay. So guys, these were the limitations of the SMTP protocol. So guys, before starting the MIME header, let us see this diagram. Suppose for an example, there is a user A and a user B. A wants to send a message to B. Okay. A wants to send an email to person B. Now what will happen is the person A suppose person A wants to send a video image, right? He wants to send what? Video file, suppose for an example. So 
what will happen is video file is not a 7 bit ascii code okay that is not a standard code which the email requires it is not in nvt 7 bit ascii code so what happens is a will send the data through his user agent right i have written here also data will be sent through the user agent so that's why a will send his data that is this video with the help of this user agent so what will happen is our video file is a non sky code right it is not in this particular format but we need this format in order to send the email so that's why what we will do is we'll use the mime protocol and this mime protocol will convert the non sky code that is our video file into this particular format that is nvt 7 bit sky code which is a must in order to send the email right so our data normal data that is the non sky code will be converted to this particular format nvt 7 bit sky code and then this will be sent over the email system right and then simply on this was the sender side and on the receiver side the receiver will uh, receive this message in this particular format only that is the 7 bit sky code this is the standard code and then again the, the mime protocol will be used there and the mime protocol will convert this nvt 7 bit ascii code into the non ascii code right and then afterward it will be fetched and it will be converted using the mime protocol and it will be understood by the user agent and the simply user agent will send the data to the receiver so in this way guys your mime protocol is being used so guys if you want all the video updates regarding this channel you can join my telegram channel you will get the link in the description you can also follow me on instagram you can search abhishek dit and guys if you have reached here i assume that yes you are understanding everything so do like the video guys and if you are new to the channel do subscribe and do comment and tell me that you are from which place right you are from which country you are from which place and you are in which chair now guys let us discuss the mime header so if we have an email guys so what happens is to the email header we add this mime header okay and then we'll send the message so it is added to the original email header section to define the transformation and in this mime header guys we have five fields basically first one is mime version as the name suggests guys it will tell the latest version that is uh, 1.1 1 .1 is the current version okay it may change after some years and then second will be the content type it will tell that what type of data is being used in the email like it is an audio file or a video file okay it will define the type of data used in the message now third one is content transfer encoding guys you will get uh, in most of the places content transfer encoding but one at one or two places there was content type encoding also okay so guys it is better if you will use content transfer encoding okay so most of the places uh, content transfer encoding was written what this will tell it will tell guys what type of encoding method is being used like for example we are using 8-bit encoding scheme or we are using base 64 or or we are using 7-bit encoding and so on okay there can be many methods i have written two three methods here for example fourth one is the content id guys this is like a unique identity which will help us in identifying the message okay it is a unique uh, identity so guys fourth one is the content id it will help in uniquely identifying the messages okay so it is like a primary key you can say if you know what i'm talking about in dbms we have a primary key which is used to identify the table right so it is a content id which will help in uniquely identifying the message now guys at the end fifth one is the content description so guys it defines whether the body is actually image video or audio okay so these were the five fields guys you should know these names and you should know the uh, working also that what these fields are doing right now let us see the diagram also so here is the diagram friends now suppose for example we are sending some email we have the email header so to this email header we'll add this mime header also right so in mime header we have five fields i've already told you they are mime version content type content transfer encoding content id and content description so these are the five fields we'll add this email header and we'll add these five fields to this email header and we'll have an email body okay so this is the simply mime header so in exams you can show this right so guys if you like the videos please click on the thumbs up button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe guys i'll upload more educational stuff for you